Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we come at you twice a day, every day. Uh, real quick, you know, real quick hits, just like the name of the show, 8 to 10 minutes, uh, twice a day, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, so, if you guys have are completely up to date, please like and subscribe and share on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing and 3D Boxing Blog. Um... Hit that bell icon, subscribe, hit, you know, smash thumbs up, all, all that good stuff. Uh, but we're going to get into tomorrow's big fight. Uh, Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin, uh, part two. The first fight ended in what was perhaps, well, what was the knockout of the year, uh, one of the upsets of the year, in, um, you know, a really entertaining heavyweight fight. Um, so we're going to do, the, you know, a little rundown of the first fight. Um, you know, White was having his way. He really was. Uh, White was doing well. He, he was, he was, you know, he's got the longer jab. He's got the quicker jab. Povetkin looked slow. Um, and, and White was winning the jab. Um, he looked like he was winning all the rounds. In the fourth round, he knocked uh, Povetkin down twice uh, with a little hook in the beginning of the round. Um, and then he hit him with a uh, uppercut um, that put him down at the end of the round with just a couple seconds left. It looked like the beginning of the end for Alexander Povetkin. Uh, who came back and bounced back in the fourth and the fifth round? Uh, it's called one punch knockout with a left hook. That was the knockout of the year. Um, but w- what I want to say is that Povetkin looked good for a while. I mean, uh, White looked good for a while. Uh, like I said, White was jabbing. He was in control. He was calm and patient. And I, I think he was almost too calm and patient because uh, he hurt him twice, um, especially the second knockdown. There was just a couple seconds left in the round. He could have jumped on him. Pavecki was in a bad way, uh, real bad. Uh, White didn't do, you know, he, he let him off the hook. Um, he never picked it up. He never went for the kill. Um, he was composed, which I liked early in the fight, but then when he had him hurt, there was no killer instinct like we're used to with White. Um, and, and I think that's an area for concern. Um, you know, Pavecki can hit. You kind of have to take him out of the misery. If you can get Povetkin out of there, get him out. Otherwise, you can get hit again. Um, but Pavek, uh, White was boxing as well as I've seen him box through the first couple of rounds. Um, what I mean, White was. White was boxing as well as I thought he... he I've seen him box in a while. You know, um, he, he was doing well. His jab looked good. Um, he was throwing some combinations. What Povetkin did, and maybe it slowed him down. Povetkin was going to the body really well. Povetkin was attacking uh, White's body really well. Maybe that slowed him down where um, the uppercut came. Um, you know, it looked like the uppercut. He just didn't see it. And, and you know, it doubles the impact, as they say. Um, but maybe he was hurt. Maybe he was slow because Povetkin, although not landing a ton of shots, was landing some good body shots. And I don't think it was enough to win rounds. And he'd been knocked down twice. But he's got power. He's a big, strong guy. Um, and he was, he was landing thudding, thudding body shots. Maybe that was enough to break him down. I I don't know. The uppercut came and it was immediately over. And here we are now, whatever it was, you know, seven months later or six, whatever it's been uh, since the first fight. Um, yeah, and I'm looking at this. I just found the fight was originally scheduled for November 21st. I mean, that, 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 that's gotten pushed back a while. Um, but here we are. It's the second fight now. I, I don't know how it goes much differently. You know, Povetkin's old. White isn't. White's the better boxer. White's the better athlete. White should win. Both guys are defensively sloppy. Both guys can be hit. I, I think Povetkin's a little sh- more skilled, um, but I, I don't think that's going to be enough. I didn't think it was going to be enough the first fight, right? I don't think it's going to be enough this fight. I, I think White gets him out again. But White's got to be more aggressive. What I'd like to see White do is go to the body a little more. 
I, I know he's a much bigger guy. That's not really his game, but I, I like to see him do it. If he can slow Pavekin down and really make Pavekin flat-footed and keep him in front of him, uh, he can tee off on him and have his way. Uh, I'm going to say White gets him out. Um, I, I can't see this fight going to the scorecard, so I don't, don't care who the judges are. Um, I, I think the winner is going to win clearly, um, whoever it may be, and I'm picking White. Uh, but that's not to say Pavekin can't land. White is sloppy. And I said this to my co-host on the MCR Combat, uh, on Mixed Combat Radio. Before the first fight, I said, oh, I'm going to pick White. But White's defensively sloppy. Pavekin's got cracks. Yes, he all, but that, those cracks are the last thing that's going to go. So Pavekin could win. So my prediction is not much different. I, mean, I think the fight looks much like the first fight did, except White picks up the aggression and gets him out when he hurts him. You can't let him off the hook. You can't let the guy. And this is what... Um, Freddie Rose. Remember, Freddie Rose was in the corner uh, as the cut man with Tyson Fury when he fought Wilder the first time. And Ben Davidson was telling Fury that he's out boxing him. He was boxing him beautifully. Um, and just keep doing what he's doing. And Freddie Rose said, no, you got to get him out. Look, he can get him out. Get him out. Freddie Rose is right. And, and I'm going to say, you know, this is, and that's a master boxer for a heavyweight in, in Tyson Fury. White's not a master boxer by any means. What he is, is big and strong. And he's got a jab. But he's got to go in there. He, if he's got him hurt, get him out. Get, take him out of the misery. End the fight. Don't play with your food, so to speak. And I think White will do that. Uh, White's got so much on the line, right? If Pavekka wins, he may get a title shot, but he's going to lose, right? Whether, you know, uh, White hasn't gotten that title shot. If he loses this fight, he ain't ever going to get one. <laughs> it's going to be a long time coming before he does. So there's a lot on the line for Dillian White. Um, I think Dillian White... We'll pick it up. He will do his job. He will get Povetkin out. I say in the sixth round. I'm going to say White by uh, stoppage in in the sixth round. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. Um, but I I think White is going to dominate the fight most. I thought White was boxing well in the first fight, and then he didn't take him out, and then he got caught. Don't let the guy hang around. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Leave your predictions below. Uh, let me know what you think of my analysis. Um, are you looking forward to the fight? I know they are in the UK, but in the US, are you all looking forward to this? Or is this just kind of, you know, the only card on, so you, you're going to watch it. Um, the two slow heavyweights not really do it for you. I'm into the fight. It'll be a good fight. Uh, but let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, share with a friend. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, hit the... Uh, the, the bell icon to get not get notified um it is march 26 2021 uh ivan calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame let's make that change let's get iron boy in from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.